America's strictest vaccine mandate is set to take effect later this month in New York City. The mayor, Bill de Blasio, just announced the new rule today. He says it'll apply to all private businesses that are not covered by previous mandates, regardless of size. The city already imposed a vaccine requirement for its public workers. We've got Omicron as a new factor. We've got the colder weather, which is going to really create additional challenges with the Delta variant. We've got holiday gatherings. We in New York City have decided to use a preemptive strike to really do something bold to stop the further growth of COVID and the dangers it's causing to all of us. The announcement on Morning Joe today on MSNBC, the policy applies to more than 180,000 businesses, ranging from banks and retailers to mom and pop corner stores. Workers will not have an option to test out. You got a vax. Mayor de Blasio also says kids aged 5 to 11 will soon have to show proof of at least one vaccine dose to eat indoors at restaurants or go to the movies. That mandate takes effect next week. The requirement for adults will increase from one vaccine to two starting in three weeks. Outside City Hall in Manhattan tonight, here's CNBC's Valerie Castro. Bring back. With less than a month left in his last term as mayor of New York City. So today we're going to be announcing uh, some additional measures to keep New Yorkers safe. Mayor Bill de Blasio issued sweeping new vaccine mandates for the private business sector. One standard that applies to everyone. All employees will now be required to be fully vaccinated, two doses by December 27th. The mandate extends to customers of those businesses ages 12 and up. I think it's really gone way beyond anything I could have ever imagined to happen in the United States of America. Mary Josephine Generoso owns an Italian pastry shop in Brooklyn. She defied the last round of city mandates that required customers and staff to have at least one dose and is now part of a lawsuit fighting against what she says is discrimination and segregation. It should be a choice if somebody wants to get vaccinated. We should not be penalizing the small segment because at this point it is a small segment of society that chooses not to be vaccinated. Lawsuits against a similar mandate issued by the Biden administration are making their way through the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals. Attorney Seth Berenswag says he won't be surprised if other cities follow New York's mandates, but businesses will fight back. Companies will probably tee up some kind of a due process argument and will try to contest this. There's a labor shortage right now. The last thing companies want to do is to discipline their employees. The sudden announcement and fast approaching deadline has some in the business community arguing the timing couldn't be worse for retail businesses that hire seasonal workers for the holidays. This is devastating for them in terms of having to comply in the next few weeks with this kind of mandate. Who knows what the enforcement process and compliance requirements and penalties are? The mayor says the rules and how this will all work will be issued on December 15th. A spokesperson for the incoming mayor, Eric Adams, who takes his office in January, says he will evaluate this mandate once he is in office. We did some checking with the city, and they say under the current mandates, more than 4,000 businesses have been issued warnings for not being in compliance. 31 have been hit with $1,000 fines.